Hey guys, it's Gracie. <laughs> Today I'm back with another YouTube video. This is an, a weird intro because I'm going to tell you guys how I film, edit, it, and um, upload my YouTube videos. But um, I was like, well, let me just film a quick intro and then we'll start the video. Um, make sure before we get started, make sure to subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll uh, let's get to the video. Okay, so the first thing I do to get ready, I kind of just put some makeup on. Sometimes I don't wear makeup. Sometimes I do. It just depends, but yeah, I guess for this video, I'm just going to show you me putting on makeup because that's a step I sometimes do. Yeah, so I'm just like going through my bag, putting stuff over my eye bags, you know, the huge. But like, I try not to cake on a bunch of makeup before a video because I always, okay, I'm trying to get this on my brush and it just wouldn't come out. So just, I, I sat here and did this forever, but it just didn't come out. Do you see? Look, look, I'm just struggling, but... Yeah, I finally just gave up. I'm just like blending the stuff I have on in. I looked kind of pale, but like at least my eye bags were covered. So, yeah. Looks like I'm putting on some eyeshadow, which I usually just do like white, like in that like pinky color. I use the Naked Smoky palette for this look today. Uh, look at me, acting like a beauty guru. But yeah, I'm just putting a little bit of eyeshadow on. It's usually what I do when I put on video, make videos, make my eyes, my eyes look brighter and stuff. Mascara helps me look not dead. You know, the usual. So, yeah. Yeah, and if I'm deciding to go the extra step and do my hair, I'll just straighten out my hair. Wow, look how messy my hair looks. But the secret to this is, if you're just filming a video, you're not actually going anywhere. You just straighten the front of your hair. That's what I do. So, like, I take a step up and do my hair, but then I'm, like, taking another step back and only doing, like, a section. Oh, yeah, dance. Um, but, yeah, I just, like, straighten my hair because it's the only look I can really do with my hair. But honestly, it transforms my hair because I my hair is my hair is disgusting and dead, and this makes it look a little bit better. So yeah, I just straighten the front sides of my hair, um, make it look pretty decent for my videos. I mean, a lot of times I just keep my hair up, but if I'm not, then I'll just do makeup, do my hair, and then stuff like that. After I actually get ready, then I just find a spot to film my videos, and I'm always walking around with my lights. I never film the same spot. I don't know why. I just don't. Now for the equipment, I film with the Canon. 80D camera. I got this like six months back and I'm obsessed with it. It's like the best thing I've ever purchased. It helps so much with my videos. And for the tripod, I just use this basic tripod. It's like, it works. It works great. I love it. Wasn't too expensive, so that's always a good thing. Um, for the lighting, I have umbrella lights. They are like a Limo Studio. Watch, like it took me forever to like focus on this and get it right. But yeah, Limo Studio umbrella lights, they work great. I don't think they are too expensive either. Um, so I have two umbrella lights that I use and it really lightens up the thing. So that go that's good. And for the microphone, I use a Rode microphone and I swear that it always has way better sound when I use this. So I recommend getting a microphone if you make YouTube videos because it really changes and ups your quality by a lot. And of course for the lens I use, I use the 18 to 135 millimeter lens and it works great. I got it with the video creator kit that I bought. Okay, so now to edit my videos, I'm just going to take my SD card out because I don't move the camera. I just literally just grab the SD card and run. Not literally run, but you get my... I pretty much just put my SD card in my computer and import all my files and then basically just go through all the videos, pick what I want to use, what I don't want to use, stuff like that. Why was I awkwardly looking at the camera? Um, but yeah, I just like go through and I find my intro and I just find clips that I need to use for the video. And then I sometimes need to do voiceovers like I'm doing right now and I basically just talk with um, this blue snowball mic. It's actually my brother's that I'm borrowing, but it works really good and I really like 